You know, Tony, uh, gosh, he was such a professional. Uh, he worked his butt off, man. A hours of preparation, hours, and he demanded the same from his staff uh, this, and the same from us. But then there was also this kind, this family side um, that he connected into with each of us in different ways, and then collectively as a team. And you know, Anson Dorrance was that first generation and of, of that setting the standard. And then Tony layered upon that. Um, it was his own stamp. And, and, and to me, that was just what we needed. Um, and so he d that demand, you wanted to go out there. You were already motivated. I mean, this was your dream. This was your dream for each of us to be out on that field, competing and playing against the rest of the world. It, it, it was my dream to to reach my potential. You know, I wanted to be the best player in the world just because I thought I could, that, and that was it. And then to be on this team, knowing that every one of us had that same potential, and then collectively that power was you know, beyond the moon and the stars. Um, and Tony was the one who like, set the vision and set the goal. You know? like he, he set it up for us, and I remember walking into our our pre-games, uh, and Tony had this like beautiful cursive writing, and um, <laughs> right, yeah. you guys, mm -hmm. yeah, and and um, it always said up there, "You are the best," and it was, you know, underlined and with an exclamation. And every time I saw it, I was like, "I know, like I know, <laughs> okay," because I know, mm -hmm. and so I knew walking down the tunnel together, like we were. I was like, "I'm." It's a bad day right now for you guys. <laughs> you shouldn't have come, okay? Like, and I'm not joking. I'm yeah. totally and serious. And that became a mantra, I think, for the U.S. team. It's always like, yeah. bad day to be German. Yeah. Yep. Bad day to be right. French. Right. Yeah. Exactly. We, we still say that. Mm -hmm. yeah. right? And it was like fun to punish them for being out there and just thinking <laughs> about beating us, okay? So that, you know, was it came from Anton. It came from Tony and then the family connection and this, like, we are together, we're one, you know, team and one heart out there. That, that was, um, it was really an amazing experience. Like, it, it has never happened um, since for me, in, that, in the collectiveness, and it's still there. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, he, he prepared us um, yeah. in our training sessions. I mean, specifically, we, uh, you talk, hey, you talked about how practices sometimes are the hardest games we had because we pushed each other to be better, but we used to do, um, the scrimmages and we would be up a goal, down a goal, or tied. And we still was like, oh gosh, we gotta do this one. And sometimes, you, but he was training us for those times in the game when it would happen. Mm -hmm. And so when it was tied against China in 90 degree weather um, and at overtime, we weren't stressed because we've been in that scenario in game. So I think he added that preparation for us that subconsciously we didn't realize was gonna eventually really help us. And I thought that was, yeah. I mean, there's many things, but on the coaching yeah. spot, that and was really uh, something that I look at the, that game, and it's okay. And the impact. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to say to add was, you know, every practice was a World Cup, and what Lil said, you know, but playing against these guys, you know, in those practices and in and competing because there's always a competition, it was like, you know, World Cup, and we were knock the crap out of each other, <laughs> and be like, and then pick them up or not, okay? Because we wanted to win and, <laughs> and in training. And so every time, every every day, every day was um, getting us ready for like the 99 World Cup. But so, with the plan, like, yes, because I was a newer player and it. he would, so in the final I had to mark the best player, like you're marking Sun Win, and I'm like, <gasps> like shaking, because this player like could do rainbows around me in her sleep. And I'm like, oh dear God, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. And he looks at me and he's like, you marked me a ham out of a scrimmage. And I was like, touche, mm. I did. Like, you know, <laughs> um, but he put me yeah. in that position, you know, six months before, and then five months I had to mark her, right? And so it's like, you're relying on all these past experiences to inform your current state of mind. And in that mind, I was like, I can do that. And I, th I think that's what Tony brought out and, and everyone knows. He and I didn't always see eye to eye, but at the end of the day, I knew he cared about me and he cared about mm -hmm. us. And we were such a family as the players, but he was a big part of that too. And just like him telling Sobs that 
he had that faith in each and every one of us and on top of the preparedness. I remember him going out to the fields and just screaming at the top of his lungs, I love my job, <laughs> you know, and that's how we're starting practice and that filters through all of us because it makes you take that second to breathe and realize that this is something special. And for me personally too, scrimmaging against Christine Lilly, one of the best in the world, day in, day out and getting my butt kicked helped me be prepared. And I, I thrived in that. I wanted that because I never wanted to go make it easy. I wanted it to be hard. So going against someone like that helped me against the best of the best. And knowing at the end of the day that our leader, Tony, believed in each and every one of us. And he made sure we knew that individually as well as a collective unit. And that's that extra little boost that pushes you over the top. So I, I knew Tony in a little bit of a different way. Mm. Um, he was my goalkeeper coach, mm. which is what he did, you know, mainly. And then he went on to be the head coach. And I can honestly say that Tony was one of my sculptors, and one of the people who really helped me become the person that I am today. And I didn't really realize his true brilliance, unfortunately for me, until after he passed away and went to, to the service. And I saw all the pictures and all the people and all the stories of the teams other than our team that he coached in the same way that seemed more like, he wasn't trying to shape you into something. He was more about, you know, providing nurturing and, and water for you to be able to grow into what you were going to be. And any way that you were gonna do that, that team usually was successful. He was almost like, like a, an orchestrator, mm. as opposed to someone who's like, okay, do it like this and drive and go this way. Like he was very hands off and I didn't realize that brilliance about him until, until after. That's sad, I think that's a sign of a fantastic yes. leader. Yeah, and can I just add, it wasn't like, <laughs> yes, it was like the fairy tale nice guy all the time either, you guys. It was like, <laughs> I mean, Tony and I, one time I had sprained my ankle and it was like right before, uh, World Cup, I think. Probably. Yeah, like I can, I can hard to remember now. I'm over 50. So um, I'd sprained my ankle, and then he, at, before the game, he's like, uh, "You're, you're not gonna play today because we're gonna rest you." And I was like, "What?" Like I was so mad, and so I went out there and I was like ripping shots on you guys at the in the warm up. I remember that? I was so mad. <laughs> they were very hard. And shots. then Tony, our doc, comes out and he goes, "You know, Michelle, you're not playing." And then I. I was like started like well, I have to. I was, we're like this far, and then our doc leaves, and then Tony's, and then you know we're yelling and spits flying back and forth, and and then I'm like, all right, Tony. So then I sat on the bench in a huff, right? And then at the end of the at the end of the game, it was just like, it's cool. He's like, yeah, it's cool. High five. Okay, so I love that about Tony because you could mix it up, and it was really intense. Um, but it was still respectful and we all came back to the same place at the end of the day and you know and moved forward and that's it was messy like brandy said i love that how you said that um, because the, with tony it was he's very passionate so that was and part of his gift special about that messy though is we handled it internally we didn't it wasn't always rainbows and butterflies for all of us yeah. the time that's impossible with that many women living together training breathing bleeding <laughs> all that it's impossible <laughs> But we handled it internally, and we knew at the end of the day that we had a love and respect. So Kate's kicking my butt, literally hitting me, kicking me all day. At the end of the day, I appreciated her for that. Mm -hmm. You know, and squabbles that beyond the soccer field, it always was handled internally. We dealt with it, we moved on, we got better from it because of that respect and love that we had. We didn't, you know, granted, you know, social media was a little different, but I still think that was always something that I hold dear is how much we had love and respect yeah. for each other and handled it. And it, it's clear, Shannon, how um, you know Tony made everybody feel like they had a, a part to play. And I remember you being kind of uh, called the super sub. And I remember specifically one corner kick that you you drove in when the team needed that it the most. That led to the red yeah. hair. Yeah. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. full circle all comes together. Anytime. And and your role in that tournament was one that um, that I really admired and I looked up to. And through through ups and downs of your career, you're. You know, you play different roles on, on different teams, but the way that all of you played your part in that tournament, I think that it really inspired a, a lot of players. So you never know how your, you know, your behavior and uh, your character really, you know, it's, it's being repeated year after year, and I'm really grateful for you guys for that.